Oh, what's going on everyone? Here inside the fish room today, I am shocked. If you guys are fans of fish videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. Oh yeah, and uh, beard's gone. Shave that thing off. <laughs> Something happened in here that I was not expecting. So let's go ahead, check it out right now. We're here in front of the Lepture screen, the grow out tank. Uh, I think I've got a holder in here. Let's take a look. First thing I'm gonna do is get some water out of this tank and into a bucket I got down here. All right, that should do. All right, everybody. So remember these uh, greens from a previous video. I am pretty sure that one of these is holding. Now, if you look, this one right here, see how it's chewing like that? Like it's got like that chewing action. That's what females do when they tumble. And I haven't fed here. I am pretty sure that's a female that is holding. So we are gonna catch it and see what happens. All right, you guys, let's do it. Where's the one that looked like it was holding? There it is, right there. I can't, I gotta do what I can to not lose it. those eggs guys those are all eggs and they are fertile <laughs> very cool so let's try to get them very ooh, ooh. it's all right it's all right there we go that is awesome that's a female right there look at the size difference in the vents That right there, guys, is pure gold. Let tourists green eggs. So what I did was I pulled these out of my bucket with bleach and uh, soaked them in some safe and then poured some on there, just rubbed it around and got it all nice and clean. These are the egg tumblers. So I don't smell any bleach on them. So we're gonna go and just stick these guys on here. Now we need to get an air stone and some airline. Next thing, turkey baster. Easiest thing to do is to get them all in one section. Like that. And what I'm doing then is putting them in here, which is tank water. Yo, that should do it. Pretty sure we got them all. So now that we got the eggs in there, what we're gonna do is put the lid on and then we're gonna put the tube on and now we need to transfer them to the tank. Now I'm just gonna go put them in the corner. So I wanna lift this up get these out of here as quickly as possible. There we go. So they're in the tank. Go ahead and move that over there for now. Now, basically just put this in place where we want it. Then we got our air line. Air stone goes in there. 45 degree angle goes there. this way so the bubbles go in one direction. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and flip the airline on. So as you can see, all of those small ones, those ones are ones that did not make it, um, but we got the other ones that are in there tumbling and all the bad stuff will eventually rise to the top. So we should be all good there. Now to adjust it, I'm just gonna go and 
push the line in a little bit more. That looks pretty solid right there. We're gonna leave it at that. These guys bred, um, which is pretty crazy for this size, honestly. That one I believe is the mom because she's the most stressed, breathing the hardest. But wow, I'm very surprised that at that size they bred. It's probably because it's so concentrated and the fact that there are um, so many in a small area, I think, I don't know, maybe it does something to bring out their possibility for breeding earlier. This very well could be the male that bred with it. Wow, 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 I'm shocked. I really did not expect this at all. This is definitely unexpected to see these eggs here uh, from this uh, grow out batch. Um, Again, it's the size that shocked me. The males, obviously they could breed because they're you can see they're maturing. But the female that was in here, I'm shocked. I cannot believe that, uh, which I'm pretty sure that's her right there, that, that it bred at that size. I mean, this fish, okay, let's get an idea, okay? It's far back behind the tank, but you can see my hand. It's not big at all. Let's come over here to the big mama, the big female. Okay, don't freak out. Don't freak out on me. Um, yeah, absolutely crazy. So let's go back over here. So yeah, I am quite shocked. Um, I know one, on my last video, I mentioned that they're for sale. I know this one is sold and so is this one already. Um, but if any other males turn out inside this group, they will definitely be for sale. Um, I'm guessing that might be one. Again, they're so hard to tell. So hard to tell with the Lepturus green. So I know that there's a reflection, I apologize, but this is more Lepturus green that I've had for quite some time. Now this goes to show just how much a tank size can do. These guys have been in here for quite a while and you can see they're not huge at all. Had they been in a bigger tank, they'd be closer to that size. Um, these ones were born before them but still nonetheless, got all these that we're gonna grow out to, find out which ones are females, keep those, sell off the males. But yeah, more greens over on this side. So another thing that we're gonna have to consider here for the fish room and the pond and everything is my electric bill is going up because of the pond being out inside of my shop because obviously I don't have any room in here for a big old tote like that. And um, like I said, it's costing a lot. I mean, it's going way higher than I want it to be. So what I might have to do is I might have to pull those filters out and throw them in these tanks so that they stay cycled um, until the spring, summer, fall time when it's not gonna need as much energy to keep that water warm. Uh, that's definitely gonna be something I'm gonna have to look at doing um, in the meantime, what I got here, if you look, so we got this space right here. You can, kind of hard to do it, but you can see we got this space right here. What I might want to end up doing is maybe along the center here, find something that we can do as maybe like a, maybe like a raceway in a way, like, you know, like uh, fish hatcheries and stuff like that. They got fish raceways where, you know, it could be a long section right here. Maybe I can do something like that that's taller, not as wide, but goes the length here of from these tanks to the end of those. And maybe I can get the fish to grow out in this, in the fish room, because it's a lot cheaper to keep just the fish room warm versus the fish room warm and the pond warm. I mean. It's, it's, just a, it's just a lot, and especially living up in the north, uh, it gets cooler here. Definitely not like the Midwest and stuff like that, but uh, up here on the west coast, uh, in the north, Pacific Northwest, definitely gets cold, cold enough to where you notice that spike in the bill. So um, I don't know what you guys think about that, but maybe that's something I'll have to end up doing here is from here, all the way down to over there. Go ahead and maybe put something like a raceway type thing like I was saying, uh, that would work to where it's not in my way here, 
and uh, still gets the job done while we wait for the temperature uh, and the seasons to change and all that good stuff. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Comment down below. What did you guys think? Man, I gotta tell you, I am shocked. I know I said it a bunch of times already, but shocked we got these guys over here that uh, are gonna grow out and gonna be for sale down the road. Obviously, it's gonna take a long time to grow, but super awesome. In the comments down below, please let me know what you guys think. Did you guys expect to see this? Because I sure as heck did not expect to see this. Uh, I love reading and responding to those comments. That would be awesome. Again, if you guys can also like, if you guys like the video, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys on the next one. Stay tanked.